What do you like about acting? That I'm able to do it, for one thing. Uh, I didn't always uh, appreciate it. Uh, I was put into the business, uh, not so much acting. I was a song and dance team with my sisters. But when I got into the acting, I, uh, I was lucky to land in Life with Father. And um, as I, uh, I started as an assistant stage manager and then went into the second oldest and then the oldest. And uh, from the second oldest to the oldest, the two leads, Howard Lindsay and Dorothy Stigney came back into the play after having been out of it for a year. So I was there when they were doing their brush up. And so he uh, kind of took me under his wing and said, this is, because I was now going to be an actor, not an uh, assistant stage manager. And he explained a few things to me that have, have been important to me ever since. And uh, let's see, one of them was, he said, Bill, uh, not because uh, Russell and I wrote this, but we have more laughs in this show than we want. And we don't want to send them home tired. We want to send them home like they haven't laughed enough. So he said, this is the way a laugh goes. It goes up, and it's st it plateaus. Now it starts down, and that's where I want you to stop it. So that they never really, they have to stop laughing to hear the next line. And he said, just look in my eyes on that line, because it's a big laugh. And that will tell you when to speak. His eyes. And it did. And I'm a 15-year-old kid or something like that. But I, every night, uh, I just look at him, and his eyes would release me. I don't know how that happened. I really don't. Uh, or whether I'm just imagining it. I don't think I am. But uh, it was, he taught, he taught me a lot. But mostly offstage discipline, uh, how serious you take the, the, the role, as he did. And uh, without him knowing it, he was a great mentor of mine because I watched what he did and I, I saw how he pulled himself together. He had a soft voice and he'd get in his dressing room and he'd place his voice with exercises that got it higher and higher and more prominent and it was going to be like that, oh God, in the beginning, and a, a whole other, another voice. Uh, and that was interesting to me, you know, to see how he'd work on that, the placement of his voice uh, in his dressing room as he got ready to go on. Things like that was very important. You have such a famous voice. I did, do. Did that impact your, the way your voice developed? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not copying his voice, no. Uh, no, I just think this is my voice, actually. Uh, I guess it's fortunate that it, uh, it carries. Uh, I don't have to yell. In fact, I remember in uh, A Little Night Music, uh, the girl who had been there, and I replaced uh, Len Carrieux, and uh, she had this scene with me on a bench, and she mentioned that uh, you don't seem, uh, you know, she said, as, as soon as you came into the show and we started the scene, I realized that I was yelling. And I said, well, you know, you don't really have to. Uh, if you enunciate clearly, uh, it'll carry to the back of the house without you doing it. And, uh, and that's the way I did it, you know. I think my voice, I guess, carries normally, but uh, yelling is not good. <laughs>